Adina, you did a doctorate in neuroscience. I did a doctorate in neuroscience, maybe for the same motivation to re think that we can understand the world by understanding the brain, because that's the only way we can know the world. You then made a next step and did a doctorate in philosophy as well. Um, how do the two articulate? How does your understanding of philosophy with neuroscience enhance your capacity to understand reality? Well, I think there are different perspectives that one can have on reality, and I think there are different questions that one can focus on. Uh, philosophy, I love because it doesn't require you to focus on any one of them and allows you to focus on any that you wish to. Um, my first love was actually cosmology, and you know, I was, I think I'm just interested in the yeah. frontiers of knowledge and one of them is you know the universe itself and how it began uh, and another one is the universe inside here right, right. and I, I think they're both equally fascinating um, and equally ultimately philosophical questions and uh, the thing about being a scientist is that you spend a lot of your time doing pretty tedious things that uh, that it just you have to be really focused you have to be getting your grants you have to be running experiments and analyzing data and it takes a lot of time and it takes away the time that you can really think about how it all fits together um, and the philosophy gives you the luxury of thinking much more about how it all fits together and I think that that time and the sort of freedom to read widely and think about all kinds of crazy ideas gives you different perspectives to bring to the science yeah. and ways of interpreting. I just uh, yesterday went to a talk by a really interesting cosmologist here who was making analogies underlaid by pretty good physical theory between the beginning of the universe and uh, acoustic, you know, musical theory, yeah, yeah. harmonic theory, and you know that's the kind of broad thinking that I think just allows us to have new ways of looking at things that themselves are valuable. So, in in your pursuit of philosophy, um, what are some specific areas that you've thought more uh, deeply about? regarding the structure of the, of the world, coming from neuroscience and then from your philosophy training. What are specific areas that you've thought about? Uh, so I think decision making is one of them. Um, uh, it's relationship to free will, the notion of responsibility uh, and the associated notion of blame. Uh, I think all of those are in some way informed by my conception of you know, what we are as biological beings, as social beings that are governed by a functioning brain. Um, so that's a nice intersection between neuroscience and philosophy is to understand decision making, free will, moral responsibility, that whole, uh, that whole universe of, uh, of ideas. Yeah, and, and I think you know, the elephant in the room is consciousness, which is probably what really drew me to mm -hmm. this intersection. <laughs> At the beginning, and you know, unfortunately, I feel like that's a much harder problem. I, I don't have, uh, I don't, I haven't yet found a way in that makes me feel like I'm making progress. So it sounds like that's uh, progress itself, because a lot of people think they have solved it, or, or uh, they know a way in. The fact you don't know a way in to me, that's a that's a, that's a very mature approach. Okay, well, that's good to know. I think I don't know many people who think that they have solved it. Well, I know not to solve people, it, but, but, but many people think that they, they, they have the orientation to solve it, whether it's just strictly neurobiological or it has to be something non physical. I mean, there are right. people have their worldviews, and their. Right. I haven't met too many people who, who've changed their worldviews as long as I've known them. Right. Well, that's true. <laughs> and then the, I think the, maybe <laughs> maybe it's more mature, maybe it's more timid, but, but some of us just haven't even developed enough of a worldview to take a, a real stand on some of those issues. But, um, but I, I definitely think, you know, if I could pick one question that I'd like to solve, that would be it.